there's no disease concept. It's just, you know, you wake up, you make a fucking choice every day. Either I make a choice, I'm going to get loaded, or I'm not. You know? I'm going to suck dick, dick or my, I'm going to get my dick sucked. That's all it is for me. No, hey, listen, man, I went to a rehab when I was in prison. When they had me in the halfway house, I was still selling blow. And I talked them into fucking putting me in an outpatient, which I was selling blow and getting my dick up at the outpatient. The girl's name was Patrice Twining. And I would look at her, she would look at me, and we'd go outside, and she'd suck my dick, and we'd go right back into the group meeting. She'd have that sperm breath, and we'd talk about whatever the fuck pain she had in her heart with that sperm breath. <laughs> That was a joke to me. It was a fucking, all that shit was a joke to me. When I divorced my wife, they made me take pee tests. I got to the fucking guy who got pee tests and said, listen, test me for everything except blow and loser. And he went for it. I would, you know, it, it never ended. Eight balls looking under the counters. When I was in Boulder, my drug disease was horrible. And I took it to Seattle. And then once I came here, it was his all time fucking high. And I couldn't wait to do comedy and get the fuck out of it. It was like I had a firecracker in my ass. I would get on stage, and right from the stage, go to the car. I would stop by the fucking dude's house and right to the house to snort, and that was my life. And it was like in the back, every time you do it, it seems like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking die. That's what it is. You wanna die. You, you put yourself in that death range. So, I don't know, Greg. We're lucky to fucking be here, my friend. Yes, we are. There's so many, so many places for we can call. I mean, I can tell you, these people have got a lot more than I do, but so many, so many. And when you say you're lucky to be alive, you're not kidding, dude. You really are not kidding. And if it wasn't the, if it wasn't the flow that we were going to tell us, it was the lifestyle we were living. You know, we could have got shot, stabbed, anything. You know. I remember robbing a guy in West Hollywood. I remember going next to Dan Avenue, bro. I remember jumping rooms when the fucking DEA stopped one of the stock houses that I was in with the 